what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is going to be episode 8 of building feed this week i was feeling a little better so i was able to continue on with the progress and i did a live stream on thursday where i kind of started working on more of the road extending that out to the end of the base plates so i got a little bit of progress done in that stream as well as just throughout the week on the mock in general so without further delay let's jump right into it all right guys so i have done a lot more since the time lapses that you just watched and those time lapses were actually about three or four hours worth of building which kind of gives you an idea of how slow and monotonous this road is but i'm really happy with the way that it's turning out you can see i'm almost kind of getting close to being done with the first half of the mock and basically my idea is i'm just going to work on the first three base plates for now you can see this is the end of this base plate and i have just started to put the tiles and the road onto that plate there but we have the first two base plates done. And if you're wondering what the empty spot is right at the bottom left corner, that is going to be where the greenery section is. I wanna have the kind of luscious vegetation all throughout the, so that is going to be in that section. And rather than put all of the tiles down first and then have to rip them up when I go through and put in the plant section, I just left it blank so that I can put the plants and then go through afterwards and fill it out with tiles. And then my plan with this middle building was originally I wanted to have this be just a full circle. And now I'm kind of rethinking that because this one is going to be just a straight up box square. And I want this to be the only one in the mock because I'm kind of regretting my decision of having this be just a square because it's just such a boring shape. I don't really want to have a straight square and then a straight circle next to it. So my idea now is to make this a square on the end and then kind of a rounded L shape. So I'm not sure exactly how to describe this, but that is my idea. I wanna have this be like a half circle into just a little sticking out rectangle of just regular straight corners. So I think that is going to be my plan. I'm not sure how that's gonna exactly work, as for the lights though, I have all of these now wired up. That's another reason why it took so long because I had to figure out where I wanted all the wiring to go. So I have an access panel back here that I can just pop up like that, which gives me access to that light panel right there. So I can disconnect the wires that kind of connect all of these lights on this base plate into this one and then go ahead and put that back and then on this one I just pull out this one light section here stick my finger underneath and pop out that and that gives me access to this one this one I'm gonna try and have not really used that much I want to leave this one basically how it is and then disconnect the wires from this one and then have this panel be big and accessible and disconnect from this so I won't really have to touch anything with this middle one and then I kind of just put all of the wire 
back underneath here and sit that back in there. And then I can kind of show you guys what the road is looking like. You can kind of see the individual road tiles sticking up every once in a while. And I really, really like the way it's looking. Definitely starting to look the way I wanted it to. You can kind of see it from here, just getting like a glaze over of the entire road. It just looks so much more visually interesting than you can kind of see where all of the regular tiles are. It just melds into just one glob of gray. So having the little bit of elevation just highlights the different sections of the road, which really, really helps. I'm going to take a break from the road and work on this building right here. So I wanted to use cheese slopes when I made this because they give you a clear and clean and studless transition in that round area rather than using like macaroni bricks or other arched pieces. So basically you take just a regular brick with some cheese slopes and then when you take another one and you put it next to each other it starts to make that curve. And obviously this is just kind of what I started out with as the wall section. So you just kind of stick this here and then you make a bunch more. That was my idea. And after a few hours of just working on stuff, I came up with this first section. Now the middle here is regular straight bricks this way. And then the sides are connected with some snot bricks like this. And then you just attach it on here. Obviously you got the cheese slopes on either side and honestly this one side here is probably not even going to need to be the cheese slopes this was just the way that I was kind of trying to figure it out in my head and then I made a couple more sections of different sizes and then I connected everything not very pretty on the back here but I connected everything with various clips and mixel joints and then when I go and put this on the base plate like that you have the start of a smooth transition where this is obviously going this way and now it's starting to kind of curve over that way. And then I made this, which is the last part of this first corner, the rounded corner. And this is kind of the same thing with those bricks with, you know, snot building to the side. And then this section was a little bit different. I actually reversed this because that was the best way that I could figure out how to connect them. And so when I connect this onto the base plate, now you have that full curve, which is really, really nice. It's all really clean. You don't have any studs. One of my concerns when I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this was having a bunch of the studs sticking out because I was thinking of just using the snot bricks like this and then kind of connecting everything off. So then you would just see like a row of the studs everywhere. But because I'm you know, building across sideways, now you don't have any studs sticking out and all you kind of see is that curve. So this is the idea that I want to expand on. I want to kind of mirror what I have here on this corner. And then I made this section here, basically six studs wide so that I can have an archway as the doorway on the front of this because I want to have doors obviously on all of these buildings. So this is the progress that we've gotten done on the building. All right, so just quickly before we close, I went ahead and started prototyping the greenery section and I'm using these macaroni bricks with the macaroni tiles on it just because they're super clean and give you that nice finished tiled off look. But I might try and figure out a way to make this out of snot so there aren't these little holes kind of showing through here. But this was the general idea and I think it works pretty well. Obviously there's not much to it, it's just you know, a light bluish gray ring and then some green underneath. So I'm going to texture up this kind of greenery area, have some bright green, maybe a little bit of olive green and just plants kind of growing in here. And then I'll have a tree kind of on the other side because I want this to be split right here in the middle. And then it'll continue over here. I'll probably have the tree on the left side, but I might have another smaller one here too. I'll have to kind of figure out how it looks but this was kind of the idea that I had and I just went ahead and quickly threw it together and I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode eight of Building Feed. Got a little bit of progress done. The main thing was that road section. It just takes so long, so time consuming and so monotonous. 
but I got through most of the first two base plates and I think that the last base plate should be a pretty straightforward and fast process. And then I worked on the building also and I set myself up so I think I should be able to kind of charge ahead with that and then kind of prototyped that greenery area. And if you guys are interested in the lights that I'm using in this mock, they are Light My Bricks and you can get $10 off your first purchase if you click the link at the top right corner on your screen. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.